Hello folks, thank you very much for joining me once again in the studio. We have a helmet with me today. This is a newbie. It's always nice to get something refreshing in the studio. This is from the Italian brand Origine. This is the Origine Vega. It is obviously a retro, classically styled motorcycle helmet. It has a very similar look to things like the Bell Bullet course, which made this style so popular, and the Bi-City Roadster more recently, if you're looking at those. It sits at a healthy middle ground between the two for price. These come in at either £189, depending on the colour option you go for, or £199 for the majority of them. The reasons that these style of helmets are so popular and work so well in an urban setting are that one, they just look really good. You can get loads of different colourways and designs. For this, I believe this is one of their primitive colorways, and they are probably the ones that have caught my eye the most, but you've got lots of different choices to go for. They look really good with a smoke or tinted visor as well. They're really lightweight, and you get unparalleled visibility for a full face helmet. You get the same level of visibility, or close to, as you would get from an open face helmet, but of course you have that added safety of a chin bar. The Vega then has a fiberglass shell construction. It's really lightweight, not quite as lightweight from memory as the Bi-City Roadster 2, but still really, really comfortable. They are either 1,350 grams or 1,450 grams, depending on the size of helmet you need. They have two shell sizes changing at large. It has an anti-scratch visor with a UV coating. As I mentioned, you can get a tinted version for around 30 pounds if you want to change it out. And you'll see a lot of these with those tinted visors because it looks so good on. It isn't pin lock ready. It is still fairly simple, but it's still made well. It's the mechanism that I actually prefer on this one or quite like on this one. It has no ratcheting along it, but you can still open it partially if you want to or fully, and it holds itself securely in place. It's got really nice action on it in actual fact. You can also lock it, and I've not seen this on its competitors either. You've actually got a locking mechanism on your left ear or around this side of the helmet, so you just push that up and obviously that locks it in place, which is pretty handy, works really well, and is very easy to do, even with gloves on. Now, as it doesn't have pin lock, you may well find it start to mist up. Of course, you've got vents on it to aid in that regard, and they are highly vented helmets anyway. You get a lot of airflow through. As I say, the visibility is great on these helmets, but the other thing that's really good is the amount of air you can have circulating through. So on a warm ride, really, really good. You've got two vents on your chin that you can close if you want to. That is similar to the likes of the Bell Bullet. But over the Bell Bullet, you have vents on your forehead there on the top of the helmet, but you can also close those, which you can't do on the Bell Bullet. And on the Bi-City Roadster, it doesn't have any vents on the top. So that is a nice addition. You'll see it tracking along the inside of the helmet to the reverse. You've got some exhaust vents there at the back and at the bottom of the helmet as well. On the bottom, you will find a double D-ring closure system. It is the simplest, but it is the most secure as well. You've got these colored or anodized double D-rings on the bottom, very easy to use. You have a suede liner on the inside of this that is removable if you need to take it out and clean it. With regards to the fit and the comfort on these helmets, they definitely come up on the large side. We have adjusted our size guide on the website to reflect that, so if you're ordering you will find the right size. It's also worth saying they are a rounder fit. So they definitely suit a rounder head shape. If you're intermediate oval or round fit, these are gonna work really well. If you have a longer head, probably more specifically a longer face, you may want to just double check your sizing. Still very comfortable on, but where you'll notice it more likely is around the cheek pieces. So there's a decent amount of room around your face. And with the likes of the Bell Bullet, you can get different cheek pieces to pad that out if you need to. As of yet, as of the making of this video, there are no available extra cheek pieces to adjust that. That may change in the future, just check back on the website. And those are the key facts if you're looking at the Origin Vega. As I mentioned, this is great value for money. You get unparalleled visibility and ventilation. They're very comfortable on. I'll drop all the links to this helmet or the other helmets that I've mentioned in the description. Let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. See you soon.